Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demo the AWS event-based discovery, which is a feature released in UCMDB version 2019-08. This is the architecture diagram of event-based discovery. To do the event-based discovery, we need to enable the AWS config service. AWS config can monitor the resource change on AWS and uh, through SNS service, it can push it to an SQS service of AWS. From left to right, we need to enable the AWS config so that it can detect the resource change and send out the event. Then we need the SNS service. When the event happens, it can send an, a notification. And then it's an SQS service, it's a queue service, so we queue all the event and wait for the prop to process them. We need to configure other service on AWS. All the detailed steps can be found on this web page of online doc. And we'll have a separate video to demo the AWS configuration. Let's assume that the AWS is already configured and let's go to the UCMDB to start the discovery. First of all, we need to configure the AWS credential. This is the same as the AWS by web service jobs, which is demoed before. And then all we need to do is to enable the event-based job. Activate the job. Let's wait a while until the job is dispatched. Now the job is running. Please notice that this is a monitoring job, so it will be in the in-progress status forever. And when any event happens and is detected by AWS config, it will be automatically integrated to UCMDB. We refresh the result, we can see that already some CIs are created in the UCMDB. Let's see an example of the real-time discovery. I log on my AWS console and I choose two devices and start them. Let's uh, wait for a while until they are completely in running status. Then I can go back to my USMDB and uh, I check the instances. We can see that this device is already discovered. And uh, let's check its attribute. The created time, we can see that uh, it's created uh, 10 minutes ago. So this is the demo of the real-time discovery. Thanks for watching.